Okay, it's 6 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Uh, we'll start with the pledge and the call for the prayer with Commissioner Patton, please. <coughs> My pledge allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we approach our throne this evening in a humble manner. Ask your blessings upon us as we enter into this meeting. We ask you to bless us with wisdom and compassion and understanding to make the most viable decision for our citizens that each one may be uh, edified and built up by our effort here to make our city a better place. Bless us in our uh, deliberations that will be fair and bless us with compassion toward our fellow man as we go forth tonight into this world. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Welcome everyone out tonight. Uh, just go ahead and get started. The first item is the approval of the minutes. I make a motion we accept the minutes from last meeting. Sure. Have a motion to second further discussion. And that includes meeting and special call, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Those in favor saying right, huh? Uh, Opposed saying. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. I make a motion with the bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed same. That motion passes. Uh, nothing under old business. First item under new business is the second reading of the approval of the zoning change for the property there on Main Street. That's the one at the corner of uh, what, 12th and Main? 11th and Main. 10th and Main. 10th and Main. Yeah. I move to refer to the second reading of the zoning change for the property on uh, 10th and Main. We're changing it from commercial to R1. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. We're going to hold off on the second reading of the budget uh, for a little bit. We've got to have a closed session to talk about some legal issues before we finish the budget. So, uh, Moving on down, James, do you have anything? No, everything's been going pretty smooth for my part. You feeling better? Yeah, I feel a lot better. I should find out next week on whether they're going to. It'll be six weeks into this back surgery, so right now I'm still on five pound weight limit and all that kind of stuff. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Hope everything works out. Should be good. Good. We'll we'll get get all next, next right. week. There you I'll go. Hope so, Charles. No, I think pretty good. I'm hoping the summer stays that way. <laughs> I want to complain to the commissioner of the cemetery. Oh, that's me. Uh, I put brand new flowers out on my mom's grave. And I don't know what we're going to have to do about this. This is the second time this has happened. I waited until after Memorial Day to put them on. They were stolen within three days. With all that duct tape you had on? Uh, exactly. I they taped it off. off and they <laughs> ripped it off, wadded it up. <coughs> Did you find them on anybody else's? or? They take it somewhere. Looked. I looked They're for out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's That's crazy. Two we've, grades. We've had a lot. Of, that happens a lot. Really? Believe it or not, that happens a lot. I'm thinking about putting electro shock to system. Tell some of your visitors. <laughs> you well, I've convinced my parents to put side pockets on there where we put in, inexpensive little things in it. That way it wouldn't happen. Because as long as I've been on a commission, that's gone wrong. Yeah. And we can't catch it. We don't know who's doing it. You know, who really think that little likes to steal flowers off a dead person's grave? I mean, I just can't figure it. Mm -hmm. But it's going on for Somebody years. Somebody got some good-looking flowers, that's all I can say. Maybe they're putting it on theirs, their family plots or something. Oh, I'm sure they're taking and putting them somewhere. I, I'm sure they're in a different cemetery. That way you can't find them. Right. Can you put up a camera? Like one of the to cover the whole cemetery, yeah, that's, that's a bunch big of space. territory. Yeah. yeah, that's a big territory. Yeah. So. Larry? Uh, yes, we actually had uh, one, two, three, five more. We had all good deals for sale. Uh, all of them sold. There's the prices if you want to look. Did we get what we've got hoping for? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Have you already spent the money on the new ones yet? Uh, we bought one new one. We get to get paid for the other new one. Come July budget, new budget. Wow. Yeah. 
Anything else? No, I just think y'all are approved by Apple. Yeah, no. They make they, they did pretty good on the site. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's good. You need it back? We need a yeah, we need a motion to accept those. I move to approve all like all the Dove deal sales. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor saying with aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. That's all I have. What about, I had somebody ask me about one of the police vehicles that we have. We have, yeah, we need to put that on. Do we, we approve it last time? We never need to put it on there. Do no. they have to go on there or can we sell them? Uh, I mean, as long as it's fair market value, uh, you know, if it's to another agency or something, you know, we wouldn't have to, but to an individual, we would probably want to. Okay. I'm, it's an individual that's asked yeah. about it. Yeah. That's interested in one of them. There's a. What, 2016? 14, isn't it? Maybe a 16. Okay. I think 14 is right now. Okay. And there are two of them? Just one. Is that the one? One burn up. They already picked it up. The burn up one? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's already taken care of. They're the one that. Oh, so insurance took it off our hands? Yes. I'm afraid they just told it out and say, do something with it. <laughs> well, they should have it anyway. Okay. Jill, give me that. Travis? I ain't got nothing. Mike? Mm -hmm. Ms. Baker? Um, <laughs> uh, I had a few things. Um, I was, we're going to have a um, block party on our street on uh, July 6th. We do it every year. And I was wanting to know if we could get it blocked for, or the street blocked from um, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. We have a concert that night. On the 6th. And that's right. Saturday night. Saturday night, that's the top two yeah. concert. Yeah. Well, we got we got a Friday night and a Saturday night concert that weekend. Okay. Sat the Friday is the Sparks in the Park. Yep. The uh, Saturday is that Pop Two Pop Two Thousand. Yeah, Pop Two Thousand. Whatever they call it. I think they're expecting to, between two and three thousand people. How many? Between two and three thousand. Okay, so you guys come in at the bottom of the hill, right? Down there. Can we just have the top block? Because we have kids that play out there. No, I, no, I, and I know you do, and that's why it, I'm, I hate that this has come up like this. I don't know. We, we're not going to have the vampire do it ourselves. I mean, because we're going to have every officer available at the concert. Yeah. And the guys working. What What do we usually do to block it? Just barricade. Just barricade. Mm -hmm. barricade. And we have a, we have a, over seventy people that are usually there, so we have people if you needed to to block it. Where do you, uh, where do you do? I know on the 231 end, you do it right out at 231, just so no one would turn in there and have to try to get out. But uh -huh. where would you block it on the other side? Um, we could do it like right before you go down the hill, like. Uh, we probably need to leave Church Street open, so. Yeah. Yeah. Like for, right before you get to Church. Yeah. Street. Okay. For a turnaround and stuff yeah. for people to get back out. Uh -huh. Do you think that? I mean, do. I don't know how people go in and out, I'll be honest with you. We will, we'll be using that back field, but most of them probably come back out towards town, don't they? Right. Mm -hmm. Unless it's somebody that local that knows how to get through there, but if it's well, blocked, if, it's if blocked. It's, if they come out at the bottom, mm -hmm. if they had a sign down there saying the street closed, they may come out the other no, way. Just, just I was trying to help you out. Leave, leave, yeah, the gates, they just go down the street. leave the gates locked on Bruce Court Road, so I make them come back to the park. Yeah, that would work. Well. Make them come out the main gate. And not let any traffic out onto Bruce Road Correct. for that one. Correct. Because it's not a huge, it's not a, one of the right. really big ones. Your crowd, man, man, they need that gate that night. Yep. No, it won't be that big. Oh, we, if we'd have five or six thousand people, that, that would be different, but not. Yeah. yeah. Not well, let me ask you this. Will the, what are you planning on doing? Um, fireworks. What time? Um, well, we're going to start at four, but um, like we don't have sidewalks or anything, so it's kind of... Um, that's why we want to get blocked for the kids. No, I have no problem with that because, like I said, I know we, we've done that before. What, what time are we going to do the fireworks, though? There's uh, a concert we're going, going on. Start. So, probably around like 8 o'clock. Right in the middle of the concert. Right in the middle of the concert. Would that bother? I'm afraid it would. Yeah. Uh, but the concerts are usually over at 9 30. That's what I was going to check on this one. There's four four acts or five acts at this one. They're all short. They're not going to be playing long, but 
You could use timetable change any? It would it would be really cool if you could start the fireworks just as the concert got over. That would be awesome. Yeah. So you're thinking like nine thirty? That's isn't that about what time we can wrap up? That's what I'm hoping this one is. Some of them. Whenever you all have sparks in the park, you don't start shooting until nine thirty. Nine thirty is when we do do That's sparks in the park. park. Yeah. Like it's, you would never shoot them at nine okay. because it's just not dark. Yeah. And the reason we do is because we have a concert and we they know to quit at around nine thirty. Well, we've got all the timing set with it, but yeah. Uh, Which we could do that. Do but the only time it's ever dark enough is if we got weather coming in or something. If it's a bluebird day, you would yeah. never shoot the fireworks for nine thirty. Yeah, nine twenty. Nine twenty. You still got pretty much. Yeah, because it's. Daylight. I mean, July is days are as long as they're going to be. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Hang on, just a second. He's looking. Okay. <laughs> I'll see what time. It's see what time it ends. That that was scheduled. What date do you want to close it? Six. Six. Uh, it's on Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. I thought Friday, Friday, Friday. And we're shooting our parts and parts on Saturday. The fifth. No, on Friday. 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 Oh, that worked fine. Oh, yeah. On that part. Yeah. The, the, just the yeah, timing. Yeah, we can see that, too. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's just the timing. It. Two nights of park. That if, if you could do it just a little later, and you'll know when we shut off because it'll be quiet. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can hear you guys. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You can't. <laughs> It gets loud sometimes. I can hear it all the way in my house. I, I don't know where you live, but I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's looking. We're gonna go away, and then we'll. I'll get with you before we finish this, and we'll get all that worked out. Um, the other thing I was wondering. Um, well, two other things. Um, can we have someone come down um, our road to cut the grass, like especially like, where the Churchill is, the street? It's, it's on Bristol Road, but like the grass is like. We, we, like, we lack about a half a day's worth. Our gentleman, our gentleman that runs the equipment had a uh, blood clot in his leg. Last week was his first time. <coughs> he he just makes us rain. Okay, we'll, gotcha. we'll, we'll be done with this week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Bristol Road, too, actually, the first one we usually always do. But mm -hmm. anyway, we'll, we'll get it this week, I promise. Okay, thank you. It's supposed to be pretty all week, too, so. No rain in sight. Mm -hmm. I thought the rain on Wednesday. I don't keep hearing that. Well, unless it's changed since this morning or yesterday, well, which you could have. Next week, it starts next week again. So it's supposed to be pretty all through the this week. And get hot. It's supposed yeah. to be 95 yeah. Saturday. 92, 94. Yeah. That's what I saw. <laughs> not too old, but that's got to be. And um, I was wondering, I don't know what the park is called, but it's like when we're coming on to Kirsten Road, it's like it's down the street from Oldham, but it's the little, the little bitty park. park. Um, Has it got a name? I don't think there ever was. It's always called the Little Park. So we have Mini Park. Yeah. Mini Park. So um, I was wondering now that um, Ohio County did get some funding in, if we could get some equipment back at that park um, since all the equipment was taken from that. Or are you guys using it for something else? Well, I know there wasn't some equipment back up at Oldham Park oh, okay. uh, as well. And we have three parks within a two blocks of each other, so I don't know that we'd be able to do that. And that stuff's expensive. It's uh, crazy how okay. expensive that stuff is. Well, the, the equipment that was there, you know, it was so old that there was wasp and everything in it. <laughs> you don't know what you're about to Well, insurance so. probably made us take a lot of it down mm -hmm. because of what's going on with it. I, I'm sorry, uh, but I would say that one would be kind of hard to do because I know there's still one to do some more stuff at Oldham. And, we're still trying to get plans on it with the pickleballs come in and they talked about doing some playground equipment up there closer to it to tie it all in together. But, oh, okay. And we're always looking for more at the other park too, so. I'll let people down the park. And we listen for every grant we can get if we if, try to get stuff like that too. We don't mm -hmm. wait Do you guys for work it. with grad? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. on a regular basis. Yeah, they're, they're a good source. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay. Okay, so I have several issues. Okay, where we, where I live Oof, is in, Can I get your name? Oh, Hope McCubbins. Okay. Okay, um, where I live is like the bottom of a hill. And all this water, like over here and on this guy's property, he's got the overflow of that lake on his property. And when it comes down, it shoots right in our backyard and it's washing our backyard away. Can I ask where you're exactly at on Cherry Lane? Steve Geary is the owner of the property next door and the hill where the, the pipe's coming down. 
the overflow pipe. But I've got pictures, I've got videos, I've got everything. So does it come into the ditch that goes behind those houses? Is that there's, the one? There's no, I mean, there's where it's coming from, there's not a ditch there. It just comes down in our backyard, underneath our building, and comes straight through. And it's so bad that it's washing away from the house now on our garage uh, to the house, the, the attached garage. But it's like this deep uh, on our house. And like I said, I've got pictures, I've got videos, how fast that water comes rushing down. I just, we just worked on a water problem last year uh, on Cherry Lane, and we got it fixed. So I'm, I was curious where yours exactly was. I need to, I would probably need to come out and look at it so I know exactly where it was Right, at. we are, I, it's hard to explain. Do you know where Best Daughter and them live? Okay, do you know where that empty abandoned house is with the tall grass? Yes, I do know okay, where that one's we're at. right across from it. Okay. Okay, we've got the ditch that's in between us. Right. Okay, well, we're the last house, or before you get to that empty lot with that big building. Sorry, I, I don't. It, it would, I would have to go out there and look at it okay. again, but I th I'm pretty sure I know where you're at out there. Right, right. Um, but this water, and then it's coming that way, and then up this way, it's coming down, and it's it's going through that ditch so fast that it's just it's watching. It, I mean, it's hang on that thing that's in the middle of the the street, the culvert. culvert. Yeah, the culvert. It's like. Like going over the road, it's it's so bad. When they designed that, they didn't put they didn't dig the ditches down. They put them basically on mm -hmm. top of the. I know. And it really didn't. And it's cracking the road. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then, and the culvert was used to be like this. Now it's like this, and it just it's really bad. Again, I'll have to come out and look at it because we dealt with it last year. We, we Larry and I went out. To, we went right. a couple. Times. I think I've talked to Larry before. This is on private property too. That's the, um, that's where we get. Yeah, we can't. But play. now that that overflow, I don't see how that should be there coming through our yard. Well, but see, it, that overflow was there before any of those houses were built. Yeah. Really. Yeah. That lake's been there. But how, how come it's just now starting to get really bad? Because we're having so much rain and anymore. We have so the much rain, rain. And when it comes, it we comes at one time. Rain like this. Right. We, and, and there's other areas in town we're having issues with. Right. And there's more developers like all the time out there. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's damaging our house. Again, when, when I went out there to examine the road and examine the houses out there, I was shocked how poorly designed it was because mm -hmm. whoever built the houses, they built them right on the ground and then they did not do anything to get a water, the water away from the houses. Right. I mean, they, people put in culverts that were like this big around. Well, right. that's not a culvert, that's right. a pipe. Right. And you know, it's, there's no way for the water to get out of there. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a bad situation. I understand what you're going through. Right, I mean, because I, I don't know what else to do. If it's gonna damage our house, who's gonna pay for those damages? And, and I hate to say this, because I hate to put it up, but it turns into it be a civil matter then. Yeah, because it's coming off of their the property courts. on yours. Right. I mean, uh, like I said, I've got videos. Well, I, the video's so, the water's so strong that we had railroad ties. Eventually, we were, we had railroad ties around our play area. And eventually, we were going to put them in there. It's literally, that water is rushing so hard, it's pushing all Moving those railroad ties against the fence. And it's like, my gosh. You know, and I couldn't imagine if you had a pool there. You, you couldn't have one because the people that lived there before the older lady, they had a pool. So how did they, how did they make it washed away? You know, I don't know. But that's my issue. And then the other issue is the abandoned house. That grass is as tall. And then have, you, have you wrote a citation? No, so violation of it only is. Yeah, okay. I mean, nobody, nobody ever comes there. I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm new to Beaver Dam, and I, you know, I love it here. Yeah. You know, and everybody keeps their yards neat and nice, and that, you know, there's it, nobody ever comes there. Do you there. know who owns the property? I have to look it back up. Well, I mean, you, you did send it to the people, yeah. and okay. they don't live around here anymore? No, it's He's our code enforcement officer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked him if he wrote him a citation. Oh, okay. I see a violation. Yeah. Barbers? Really? Is it Barbers? Yeah. For a long time. Oh, they got a water problem this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got the ground going down. I can't deal with more planning. Yeah, yeah, it's Barbara's. Queen County should be shot. Should I mean, honestly, that was ridiculous. She lives right where they said she lives at, because the address still shows the house on Cherry Lane. And they're supposed to come by and mow it and pick it up and all that. They had that big tree down in the backyard last year. Right. Year. That was actually in the ditch. Mm -hmm. 
and they told me they got it all cut up and cleaned up and they fixed the man door in the garage and then mowed the grass and but it's just wait for them to show up to get the letter to go from there because that's the only contact I have for them. But I think even the water bill is still sent to that house. And it's been empty for five, six years probably. I didn't know she was gone. Mm -hmm. and I should have. We had her water bill on the head. It's What's yeah. the name of the people? Barbara Bunch. Barbara Bunch. Oh, that helps. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, there's two Barbaras. Uh, well, she's the one you work at school board. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go check it out. Yeah. yeah. We've already, the notices have already been sent to her, just a matter of going to. No, no, through. I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, and then I would like Kevin to just come see. Yeah, Charles wants to come with me, too, so we'll go up there and look. He, he's, we're just want, he's wanting to get a lay of the land like I am. I want to make sure I'm talking about the right house. Right, right. So, yeah, well, before you leave, make sure you give me, give me your number so I can get in touch with you. We'll call you before we come okay, out. I here. appreciate this. I well, think I that's why some of the lots behind you off that other street don't have houses on. Yeah. Cause well, like if. Me and my husband knew what we know now. We would have never bought the house. Never. You know, it's a beautiful okay. home, but it's just so much. And I don't want to have to put another ditch in our backyard. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just a beautiful home, and I hate for it to have ditches all around it, you know. Oh, I understand. That, that, we've had issues with that whole development. I guarantee you. Like I say, it was built back in the well, like late 60s. The little Caitlin and her husband, <coughs> Caitlin Provis, mm -hmm. she works downtown. Um, she was telling me that they've got a, pa a pebble gravy, uh, gravel driveway, and she said water was just bubbling out of it. It's like, there's no. Uh, it's probably coming out of a bad culvert that they got yeah. in the ground. It's just shooting up out of the culvert. Because yeah. yeah. if they get overflowed with water, it'll go out wherever it can get released, and it'll go straight up if it has to. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Is there any way that y'all can come in and redo everything to make it better? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about digging everybody's yard up all the way down through there. Yeah, I didn't know. I was just. Well, and the thing of it is, the ditches like in the front. Yeah. Even if we went in and dug them a foot or two deep, it's not going to change the, the amount of water coming off the the hill. On your end, it won't change that much. It'll change getting down the road, but getting to your house ain't going to affect anything. Yeah. Just like I said, I've got it coming both ways. Right. You know, okay. Thank you. I appreciate y'all listening to me. Oh. And we will come look at it. I, like I said, make sure I get your phone number before okay. you leave. Okay. Marianne. Hi, I'm Marianne Piper. I know most of you, we have um, Reese Brown and Jax Brown here. And uh, we come from Ohio County United for Youth. We've got some papers for you. I think Jax is going to give those to you. Yeah. Jax has gotten tall. I mean, yeah. really tall. Yeah. Thank you. Problem. Let's put a drink on the table, please. Put a drink on the table. Thank you. These are good, good young people. Um, but um, we, you may have, I don't know if you've heard of our group, but we started in November. Uh, we're meeting monthly. And uh, if you can kind of recall what Together We Care used to do, um, uh, we're focused on building developmental assets for young people and building the community in, in all different kinds of ways for you. So um, it, this is an all-volunteer group, so there's no paid um, staff work. Uh, it, it's all, any money that we have goes directly to uh, providing activities and services for young people. Um, so um, you can see our vision statement there. It's about empowering young people and, and the community to try to do um, good things for, for youth. And so we have four committees. Um, we're continuing to celebrate the child. We had a good event um, in April and um, already planning for uh, 25. So that's um, one of our committees. Um, we have an anti-bullying committee. Um, probably are aware of that. The school district um, has addressed that but there are still issues, and we hear that from uh, families quite often. Um, life and career preparation, we have some great people that are in industry that are interested in that. And then um, our little group here, um, we're youth empowerment and um, promotion of 40 assets. So one of the reasons that um, you can see some of the things that we've done there um, and are working on for the future, but something that we're interested in is empowering young people. 
And uh, years ago, we used to have representatives um, from uh, the youth sector for the school board and the fiscal court. I don't recall if we ever had for the city councils, but that's something that we're interested in is having a young person who is um, interested and then selected uh, by getting references from teachers or other, other folks to uh, uh, certify that they would be a responsible member. Um, uh, not actually a member, but someone that's just um, addressing issues about youth with the city council and maybe advising you on some things that have to do with young people. So that is one of our requests, to see if you might be interested in doing that. Um, I mentioned it briefly to the mayor and um, Sandy Robinson, you probably know is a proponent of, of um, things for young people and she's familiar with the assets. And, um, we'll just volunteer her right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, not here, she's not here. She's not here, so, so we can yeah. just vote her in. She told me she wouldn't be here, but she, um, I, I don't know if she didn't mention it to you, but um, she's in support of what we do. But um, that, is, that is one request we have. The other is, um, is perhaps for a small amount of funding. Um, we thought about $500. Um, we have uh, collected funds to be able to do Celebrate the Child, but we're keeping that in a separate fund. And this is through Ohio County Resources. Uh, you might be familiar, that is um, the group with the fiscal court that is a 501c3 and manages, is the fiscal agent for nonprofits that don't have the organization or money to become a 501c3. So Ann Milton is um, the treasurer of that and so she manages um, our funding. But um, we have a little bit of money left from Celebrate the Child that have other projects that we're wanting to do. Um, uh, we've just used um, personal donations so far, just of members that have donated things. Um, but we're wanting to do things like we have Ohio County Youth Sunday plan for September 15th. That's a project that we're working on. And so that'll be a day where we just try to contact churches in all of the Ohio County communities to try to have a day where they just focus on young people to recognize their accomplishments, to involve them, to let them give the sermon if they if there's someone willing to do that, but just to make a special day where young people are invited to church and then also um, recognized for what they do. So that's the kind of thing that we want to do. It's not expensive to do that, but you know we need to do a little mailing and and um, you know there's there's a small amount of expense with the kind of projects we want to do. So. Um, Another thing, some of you are probably participating in the Great Pencil Handout. We did that with Together We Care for years and tried to continue it after, um, after COVID. But, um, so we're planning to do that the first day of school, which is August 7th. And um, that's when we um, involve people in the community like you to come and um, greet every student that comes to school on that morning and give them a pencil with a message about assets. So I included the 40 developmental assets for you here if you're not familiar with them. Um, the second page is just an invitation for you or somebody now if you'd like to come to our next meeting, it's next Monday. And um, that, that sheet includes some of the reasons why we wanted to um, uh, begin this group. Um, there are some alarming statistics about young people. You know, some are doing great, like these two here. But um, we know that many people are struggling, um, young people are struggling, and mental health issues are an enormous um, problem. And uh, these 40 assets are a way to, um, to build a community and address those kind of concerns for young people. Um, they've done decades of research with young people and have found that if they have 30 or more of these 40 assets, they're almost guaranteed to avoid early sexual involvement, um, drug and alcohol use, um, and very likely then to have positive behaviors like good grades and being involved in their community, uh, avoiding violence and those kind of things. So it's this just a framework. Everybody can build assets and that's why we are excited about it because as long as people know about this, they can begin to do it in their own um, circle with young people they know and in their business or church or wherever they, they have some power. So, um, but that was our two requests for today. Um, just a quick, uh, I didn't keep it too long, but um, we, um, 
we're hoping you might have an interest in having a young person um, attend your meetings and just give uh, feedback to you. And then also if there might be some a small amount of funding for our group for this year. Too many questions for the group. Did, did the city ever have that? I know we haven't since I have, but when I was on the fiscal court, we did. Uh, uh, high school, uh, huh? mm -hmm. high school student. Yeah. Cody Chin. Oh. Do you remember Cody? Yeah, yeah. That was a been a while. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's been a while since I was on fiscal court. Yeah. I, I think we dig into we we don't we don't participate in any, in any donations to any group because we had the father house. I asked, but something we could possibly do if it's alcohol related through. ABC. Yeah, never thought about that. We can find the funding. Yeah. We've got some avenues. We just gotta make sure we go through the right hoops. <laughs> gotcha. Well, totally, yeah. We gotta keep yeah. auditors happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think <laughs> I can guarantee that it'll be money well used and, and uh, the funding part mm -hmm. doesn't concern me. We can make if we if something can be tied in with alcohol. Representative on the board here, KLC will have to give us some good guidance on that. Well, we can do that. For one thing, they can't be a voting member of the board true. commission because we're set up by state statute. But uh, and I know they've done it on the fiscal court, so I don't see why there would be any problem just having a. I know we needed something in a records resolution. Or well, something. we would need to have that approved in the minutes that we're going to have. And a, a non-voting member. Non-voting ex officio member. It would just be a youth member or youth, mm -hmm. or call it a youth advisor to the commission. It doesn't have to be a commission member. We yeah, can do true. anything we want to like that. When do you think they would have that person selected? Probably in the new school year. We have, you know, we have the um, applications ready, um, but, you know, wanted to see if it was, if we're planning to approach the other groups that we spoke up to, so. But you're the first ones for just because we're to find out about the meeting tonight. So. I don't see any problem with that. We would just need, when the time comes and you all have an individual name ready, we would have to approve it to be in the minutes that that person is going to be the, whatever we want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, um, we called it student representative on this um, page, you know, um, but whatever you'd like yeah, to we call can. it. We, yeah. We, and we don't need an answer today. We just want to No, I, I think we're right. safe to say that it'd be no problem at all to do it. Would you like them to be a resident of U of M? Probably preferable. Mm -hmm. Just, again. Right. Well, they, they'd be most likely to be interested. In well, they'd be most likely to be interested, and then it just it saves on any problems mm -hmm. coming up because of the state statutes are pretty strict on on the commission, absolutely, but I just think it would be if we could do it. I know it may not work out that way, but that would be preferable. I'll leave it at that. Not necessarily mandatory. Gotcha. Is everybody okay with this? Mm -hmm. I don't think it sounds good. So, like I said, you get us a I name. Know the Lions Club's doing a lot of things like this uh, throughout the school systems across the United States right now. They've got one of the biggest youth programs, youth programs going in and out of schools anywhere in the nation. Because we're working uh, with that group out of uh, Madisonville. My son, the pastors at Central City, is working through that. We've got a pretty good, pretty good group started. Is there a Lions Club locally now? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, the Lions TC's Club. TC's big in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, TC, TC Sandoval. Oh. The, the Lions Tyson, has, so you uh, has a real really strong youth I I, program yeah, going that could help. Would probably be <laughs> real interested in helping you with this. Why aren't you in the Lions Club? Hmm? Aren't you in the Lions Club? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. I, I haven't been able to be involved too much with it, but uh, uh, I've got got two sons that have been. Uh, we work, work through uh, our mother church in, in Madisonville. But, uh, I, and I didn't know they had such a strong program going until about two years ago, a year ago. Thank you. Anything else? No. Okay, so we're good to go on that? They're going to talk next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah.
Yeah. Chris, you're not afraid of us. You know better than that. You're not afraid of us at all. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Jax, thank you Jax might be a little bit in and around me as much, but I know you shouldn't be afraid of me. You know me too well. I need to brag a little bit more about these two. They're, you know, we have a group of awesome young people here that are volunteering in so many capacities. They were just, um, uh, they helped with our grief camp, with uh, Celebrate the Child, with so many, so many other things. So, awesome. Kevin, she's afraid if she starts talking, you'll start talking and I won't know. stop. I won't stop. <laughs> That's what it is. I don't have a lot of stories on Reese and Jacks, but I, I could probably come up with some. <laughs> now on your dad, I got tons, but now on you all, I don't have too much. Well, thank you all very much. We can take care of that. And let's see, what is the dates? Uh, August 12th will be our meeting in the month of August. Okay. And that may be too early, but... Yeah, I would guess it might be September, but... September 9th would be the next one. I may be a name for you. Yeah, okay, not a problem. Thank you. You don't think you're going to name a number in case you leave while we're in close session? Yeah, I'll make sure, I'll make sure we're going to go we're in close session. Okay. Dustin, do you have anything for me? Need a motion to go into a closed session, short closed session. Second. 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 Okay, we have a motion and a second to go back into open session. And we are back in. Are you going to do the one second? I want to I want to make a motion that we accept the Rural Water Association's recommendation on our water and the fact that our sewer will not change nor will our uh, sanitation change. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Uh, oh, sorry. Hold it too quick. Those in favor seeing it, I do Opposed, same. Motion passes. You ready for the budget? Mm -hmm. I move to accept the second reading of the 2024 budget. 2425, I guess you call it. 2425, yeah. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Does anyone have anything else to bring anything up? Anything else? Anything else, David? I don't remember anything else on the agenda. Can we get some clarification on the rural water, what are we talking about there? Water yeah. increase, yeah. water rate increase. Yeah, we had a, a, we had a study. study done. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm sorry. Water association. Yeah. I remember, I remember you, you mentioned you were going to. Yeah, yeah, they had the study. I think our last increase was in 2019, I believe. And then the study came up with the cost of everything going up and then with the county water district's proposed increase looming. Does anybody else have anything else to bring up? Make a motion we adjourn. I'll second. Get them, Sandy. <laughs> She's usually one machine.